Hey guys, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am here with an advanced level trigger scenario. In today's scenario, we are going to cover some very important Salesforce concepts which are highly valuable for both interviews and real world applications. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Before diving into coding part, we will first understand data model for today's scenario. So today we are going to use two objects. First is user object. On user object, we have a field manager which is of hierarchy type. But here the question arises that what is a hierarchy type field? Basically, it is a unique lookup relationship field which is present only on user object. Also, it provides a way to define and maintain relationship between user without the need of additional lookup field. Let me explain it in a simple line. So you can use this field to store users manager. This is all about hierarchy data type. Now let's get back to data model again. So the second object that we are going to use today is opportunity. And on opportunity object, we have a user lookup field called opportunity owner. So this is all about data model. Now let's understand what we are going to do today. So in today's scenario, whenever a user gets deactivated, we need to assign all open opportunity records to his or her manager. Let me explain it in a simple way using a flow diagram. Let's say there are two users in our org, user 1 and user 2. User 2 is the manager of user 1 and on user 1, there are multiple opportunity records are present. OPP1 and OPP2 are open opportunities and OPP3 is the closed opportunity. Now the requirement is whenever this user 1 gets deactivated, we need to assign user 2 who is the manager of user 1 as the owner of opportunity 1 and opportunity 2 but not for opportunity 3 because this is the closed opportunity. So this is what we need to do today. Now it's time to code so let's switch to VS code and start coding. Before we start our code, I want to tell you the twist of today's scenario. I have already told you that in today's scenario, we are going to use user and opportunity object. So here, user is the setup object and opportunity is the non-setup object. Now the question arises that what are setup and non-setup objects? So in Salesforce, setup objects are the objects in which if we are making any changes, then it will affect Salesforce or security. Profile and user are the example of setup objects. On the other hand, non-setup objects do not have any effect on Salesforce or security. Account, contact, opportunity are the example of non-setup objects. Now see. The important thing is that in Apex, DML operation of setup is not allowed after you update a non-setup object. The reverse is also invalid. In simple language, when you try to perform a DML operation on both setup and non-setup objects within the same transaction, then an error will occur which is called mixed DML error. So if we will try to fulfill today's requirement by using trigger, then definitely we will face mixed DML error. But don't worry, there is a way to avoid it which is using future method. So guys, in Apex, future method is used to segregate DML operations and also to bypass the mixed DML error. Now let's start our code and see how we can do it. We usually start our code by creating handler class but today we will first create a trigger. So let's create a trigger. Let's say user trg. Now a trigger will be on user object because change which will invoke a trigger is happening on user object. So let's write user here and we are going to use after update event. Why after update? Because we need to change the owner of related records. So let's write after update here. Now in first step what we will do? We will store ID of user which is being deactivated in a list. So let's create a list here. ID. Let's say deactivated user ID. Let's iterate over trigger.new which contains the new version of records. For user, let's say user record trigger.new. Now we will apply a check like this. If user record dot is active equals to false and trigger dot old map dot get user record dot id is active is true so this part checks that if current user record is not active and this part checks that if the old version of same user records before update was active and if these two conditions will get true means that the user was active before update and now that user is inactive then we will simply store user id in this list. So let's add ids. 
copy its name, paste it here, dot add, user echo dot id. Now we will simply apply a check on this list like this it is empty. So here this line is checking that whether there are any users who are deactivated and if there are no deactivated users then what we will do we will exit the trigger without performing any additional action like this simply write return basically when this condition gets true the return statement is executed this means that the trigger will immediately stop running and the rest of the trigger code will be skipped now in next step we will get the manager id for deactivated user and we will store it in a map so for that let's create a map first map id let's say manager ids by user id in this map we will store user id in key and corresponding manager id in value so that whenever we need manager id of a deactivated user we can simply fetch it using this map now here we will fetch id and manager id of user whose id is present in this list like this for user let's say user record select id manager id from user where id in this list copy its name paste it here apply nl check on manager like this dot manager id not equals to null and inside this if put values in the map that we have created copy its name paste it here dot put user id in key and manager id in value again we will do the same thing like this but this time for this map if copy this map name paste it here is empty then we will simply use return statement now we have all the data that we need in this list and in this map right see we have stored user data in list and map because we cannot pass as object as parameter in future method that's why we have created this list and map so that we can pass them in future method save this trigger and deploy it to org okay it is successfully deployed now let's create our handler class let's name it user trg handler let's create our method public static void trg method and to make this method a future method we will use future annotation like this and for parameters we will pass list of ids and let's pass a map also in this parameter we will pass list and map that we have created in our trigger so this list will have the id of the activity user and this map will have the manager id along with the activated user id now here our first step is to fetch all open opportunity records whose owner id is present in this list so let's see how we can fetch it for opportunity let's say opp select id owner id is closed from opportunity where owner id is in this list guys at the place of this list we can also use set here but we have already created a list in our trigger so we will go with this list and we need only open opportunities so let's use another condition here like this is closed is false now our next and final task is to update the owner of opportunity records so for that first create a id variable like this id let's say new owner id and in this variable we will store manager id of current owner of opportunity record like this copy this map name paste it here dot get opp dot owner id 
so here we are passing current owner id of this opportunity record in this map and this map is returning manager id which is already present in value so we have the new owner id now we just need to update opportunity owner with this variable apply null check on this variable if new owner id is not null and update owner id owner id is equal to new owner id now to bulkify a record we will first create a list like this list opportunity let's say list to update ops new list opportunity copy this list name paste it here and add opportunity records in it apply null check on this list here copy this list name again dot is empty and for error handling we will use try and catch block first let's use try method like this and inside try block perform dml operation on this list update list name and after that use catch block to catch exception ex System dot debug error while updating owner of opportunity record. Ex dot get message. Save it and deploy it to org. So we have our handler class ready. Now let's call it in a trigger like this. Let's say user trg handler dot trg method this list in first parameter and this map in second. Save it and deploy it to org. It is successfully deployed. Now it's time to see our code in action. So let's go to our org and start testing it. In our org, we have two users, SFDC Ninja and this test user one. Now SFDC Ninja is the manager of this user and this user is the owner of these three opportunities. These two opportunities are open and this opportunity is closed. Now according to the requirement, if we deactivate this user, then owner of all open opportunity records should get changed to SFDC Ninja. So let's deactivate it and check this checkbox, save it, refresh this page. So as you can see that owner of all open opportunities has been changed to SFDC Ninja, which means our trigger is correct. So that's it for today guys and I'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.